Yo, what's up guys, Ghost here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be going over the latest EA earnings call that shed a little bit of light on when we can expect some news on the next Battlefield game. I call it Battlefield 2025, but of course we don't actually know the name of it. That's simply the year that it's going to be releasing. And the good news is that the news about it may start to trickle in and uh, EA and DICE may start to give us a few tidbits, excuse my phone, sooner than expected. So as always guys, if you enjoy the content here on the channel, make sure that you are subscribed. The majority of you guys who watch my videos are not at the moment, so that really does help me out so much. Also, if you guys enjoy watching the streams, I do also recommend following on uh, Twitch down in the description there. There's been some weird issues going on with the quality on YouTube's side of things. That's like a YouTube problem, not a me problem. So anybody who's having issues with that, I recommend you guys watching on Twitch instead, if that is at all possible for you. As there is going to be plenty more Battlefield news to come here on the channel going into the future, into next year, I plan to cover all of that game just like I did with Battlefield 2042. So before we get into the big news here, I just wanted to inform you guys that there has been a new Easter egg discovered in the Circle of Hell event on the Battle of the Bulge map. So this isn't anything too fancy, but if you're somebody who enjoys unlocking cosmetics, you like Easter eggs and that sort of thing, this is a player card that you can unlock right here. The little uh, penguin there sitting on top of a corpse it looks like with the fire in the background and to do this you need to get three sacrifices in the circle of fire. So these circles of fire can only be found on Battle of the Bulge and there are I think four of them on the map so there's one by the windmill here there's another one inside the church and then there's one by the statue and the fourth one can be found sort of in the middle of nowhere uh, amongst these trees here but it is on one of the flags and all you have to do is get three melee kills within that circle. Easier said than done though, obviously people are going to shoot you if you just stand around there, so the easiest way to do it is probably just to get a friend on who you can knife. I, you can, you know, kill teammates in this game mode, so that begs the question, does it work if you just knife your teammates? Probably not, you're going to need to get somebody on the enemy team, but if that's something you guys want to go out there and accomplish, then uh, there you go. Okay, so moving on to the EA earnings call. So for those of you guys who are not aware, every three months, so four times a year, EA hosts one of these earning calls where it gets all of its investors on the line or the analysts for the main companies that invest tons of money as stock in their company. And they give them the lay of the land. You know, why is the stock going up or down? What are the predictions for the coming future with games that are going to be releasing and whatnot. Most of you guys will, will know what this is. And today has been no different. They've released another one. So this is the second earnings call for the current year. And as usual, they had a little bit to say about the next Battlefield game. So these are Andrew Wilson's opening remarks. Andrew Wilson, of course, the CEO of EA. And whilst he was running over all of EA's games, from Apex Legends to Skate and Dragon Age, of course, uh, that one's just come out as well, this is what he had to say about Battlefield. You should expect more key developments and news around our massive online communities, including Battlefield and Skate, in the coming quarters. Our quarter two results represent momentum in our business as we continue to execute our strategy to drive sustainable long-term growth built across the engagement modalities of play, create, watch, and connect. So as usual, the vast majority of this is just marketing jargon, but the key thing here is that he said, you should expect more key developments and news around our massive online communities, including Battlefield, in the coming quarters. So that sounds to me like maybe towards the end of this year, probably the start of next year, we're gonna start hearing a lot more about what's coming in 2025 for the Battlefield series. And that really is the opposite of what I expected. As somebody who's followed the franchise for maybe the past 15 years or so, the way that EA generally approach the release of one of their games is they like to release their games in October or November towards the end of the year and generally speaking around the summertime that is when they will start dropping information about the game such as its actual name, any sort of footage, trailers, hyping people up in anticipation so that when the game comes out they're really raring to go and, and want to jump straight on there. But the way he's wording this here it sounds like they're going to start talking about the game possibly a little bit earlier. Now I'm sure EA are completely aware that Delta Force is coming out in December. So they're probably not going to want to step on 10 cents toes. They are definitely 
aware of the fact that a large portion of the Battlefield player base are going to be jumping on Delta Force. I know not all of you are interested in the game, but you probably realize that a large portion of the Battlefield community are, so EA know that as well. They're not going to bother releasing too much information about the next game when Delta Force are kind of having their minute in the spotlight. I don't think Delta Force is really going to stick around for as long as some people think it will, though. It's certainly going to have its moment, and when it starts to die down in popularity, as it almost certainly will, that's when I think EA are then going to seize that moment and release some more information about the next Battlefield game. If we take a look at Battlefield 2042 and how that game came out, you know, we didn't actually get any solid information from EA. In fact, the first info we heard about the game were through leaks. So they had internal playtests, people took pictures of this playtest, and a few screenshots were leaked to the internet. And I believe that was the start of Tom Henderson's career being an insider, or that's at least the first time that I caught wind of him. And if I go all the way back to when I started making videos about it, I've got one here where I thought there was going to be a new Gripen jet sighted for what I called Battlefield 6 then, not knowing it was in fact going to be called Battlefield 2042. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong about a lot of things with that game. But the date here is the 2nd of May. So this is quite a considerable amount of time before EA even start giving us proper official information through their channels about the game and that's may so they probably only started to tell us about the game in like june or july i think with battlefield 2025 we could end up hearing about things considerably earlier than that and if they're planning to share us official information who knows maybe we're also going to get some leaks as well if you guys are interested in that sort of thing i would definitely keep your ear to the ground on tom henderson's website insider gaming We've of course already had this article from IGN where Vince Sampella had an interview and there he divulged the modern setting of the game, he showed off some of the concept art and some of the design choices for the game such as going back to the class system, going back to 64 players and these are all things that Tom Henderson or, or somebody that works for him at least over on Insider Gaming wrote an article out long before this article here on IGM even came up and he was spot on with all of that information so I really feel that most of the stuff he's going to be posting there about the next Battlefield game is going to be 90% correct. Needless to say though I will be covering all of it here on the channel so once again guys if you haven't subscribed make sure that you are to stay up to date with everything Battlefield. Now whilst this definitely excites me I just want to reiterate once again as I do every time we talk about this not to get overhyped about the next game. Even if EA release like the most amazing trailer that you've ever seen, even if they have a speech and in that speech they say, we are going to make all of your Battlefield dreams come true, do not believe them. We absolutely have to wait until we get our hands on the game and play it to judge it accordingly. And we need to make EA and DICE know that that is the case. It doesn't work if like a few of us just say, oh, well, you know, like some people will do that, but I don't care, I'm just gonna go and pre-order the game. Like, I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do. Of course, you're your own people, and this is just my advice, and this is what I'm gonna do. But pre-ordering the game, sending those analytics to EA that a lot of people are excited about their game, really just sends the message to them that they don't need to put as much effort into this game as normal because people have already spent money on it. It's already done. It's a done deal and they can just ship whatever crock they like without any repercussions. I mean, I'd like to hope that what happened with Battlefield 2042 taught them that they can't get away with that sort of thing. But I, I really hope that the community are going to hold true and keep them accountable going into next year as we hear more about the next Battlefield game. But yes, of course, I'm quietly optimistic. I'm excited as well, but I'm trying to keep those expectations and my excitement and my hype in check along with that. That's what I recommend doing for you guys as well. But of course, I hope it's going to turn out to be an absolute banger of a Battlefield game. And um, we all get one that we actually deserve for a change. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Leave your comments down below. Very excited to hear what you think about it. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate you guys watching, especially those of you who watch all the way to the end. So let me know if you did that today. But otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream.